the IBA at Winchester, engineering announcements for the radio and television trade. IBA's weekly announcements for the radio and television trade. Today, SMA TV, the government's new rules for small cable systems fed by satellite. In transmitter news, the latest extensions to Channel 4 and details of three new relays, Saddlescombe, Wattsville and Erdiston. Over the past couple of years, cable television operators have been able to pick up extra channels transmitted from low-power distribution satellites. These include film and music channels, as well as specialist entertainment channels, all aimed at the cable market. To receive these signals, it's necessary to use a dish of at least around 1.8 metres diameter. But until recently, apart from British Telecom and Mercury, and some experimenters, in general only cable television operators have been granted a TVRO licence, that's a television reception only licence, issued by the Department of Trade and Industry. A couple of weeks ago, the government announced new guidelines which will help create a new industry, Satellite Master Antenna Television, SMATV for short. The idea is that hotels, businesses or blocks of flats can use a satellite dish to pick up the extra channels and distribute them to subscribers on small-scale cable systems. The government has also decided to allow direct reception of low-powered satellites by individuals. Anyone wishing to do so will require a licence under the Wireless Telegraphy Act and application should be made to the Radio Regulatory Division of the Department of Trade and Industry. But there's no guarantee of satisfactory reception free from interference. The large dish size, around 1.8 metres or more, and the high cost, well over a thousand pounds, mean that few members of the public are likely to install these systems, at least in the short term. What's more, because of the dish size, in many cases, it will be necessary to obtain planning permission. Those wishing to operate SMATV systems, serving more than one set of premises, will need to obtain three separate licences. The first is for the satellite dish, the TVRO licence issued by the Department of Trade and Industry. A second licence is needed under the terms of the Telecommunications Act for the running of a telecommunication system. And a third licence is needed for sending out programmes on the system, this under the terms of last year's Cable and Broadcasting Act. The principles are outlined in a guidance note issued by the Cable Authority. The Cable Authority intends to safeguard existing and future large-scale wideband cable systems. This means that SMATV licences may not be granted in areas where there are existing cable systems. Where new systems are envisaged, licences for SMATV systems will not be granted except possibly as a short-term expedient pending an installation of the wideband system. Operators will have to observe the must-carry rule, that is, they must include the present four BBC and IBA television channels and in due course the British DBS services. All cable programme services will be required to conform to certain standards, for example taste and decency and standards of advertising practice. These codes are drawn up by the Cable Authority. Cable licences for new SMATV systems will normally be granted for a period of five years. There's an annual fee payable to the Cable Authority, and this is based on the number of homes passed. Between two and five hundred homes, it's for a hundred pounds, going up to two thousand six hundred for more than fifty thousand homes. The Cable Authority intends to raise the fees in real terms over the coming years, and have indicated a 25% increase for 1986. The telecommunications licence fees are similar to the cable licence fees, however there's no fee payable for systems serving a single set of premises. Full details are in the guidance note issued by the Cable Authority. Their address, Gillingham House, 38-44 Gillingham Street, London, SW1V, 1HU. The telephone number is 01821 6161. That's 01821 6161.
821-6161. Transmitter news next, starting with special announcements. In the north, both Pontop Pike and Coldbeck are liable to reduced power and occasional interruptions until the end of July. This is for aerial maintenance. The same applies in the southwest, where Stockland Hill is liable to reduced power and occasional interruptions until mid-July. In Northern Ireland, there is reduced power from both Brocha Mountain and Londonderry for the next couple of weeks. Today, in Plymouth, the North Road relay is liable to interruption until about 1pm and the same will apply again tomorrow and on Thursday. Tomorrow, in Wales, the relay at Flanengen will be off between 9.30 and 5.30 because of work by the Electricity Board. In Scotland, Gartley Moor is liable to reduced power and interruptions mornings only until the 21st of June. In South Wales, Abergavenny is off this morning and tomorrow morning until midday and on Thursday until 10.30. Tomorrow, the relay at Ockham Valley in Tor Bay will be off between 10 and 4. On Thursday morning, the relay at Y Ashford will be off between 9 and 11 because of work by the Electricity Board. And the relay at Sirencester is off this morning until about 11. On Thursday in West Yorkshire, Holmfirth will be off between 8.30 and midday, also because of work by the Electricity Board. And in Wales, Bar Goed will be off on Thursday between 9.30 and 10.30. Also on Thursday in Sussex, Haywards Heath will be off between 9 and midday for aerial maintenance. On Sunday morning, the relay at Plimpton will be off between 9.30 and 10.30 to allow mast lights to be changed. New relays next, starting near Tenbury Wells, where Erdiston is now on the air. This covers about 325 people in Erdiston itself, Stockton on Team, Orleton and Stanford Bridge. Programmes from Central and TVAM are on Channel 61, with Channel 4 on 54. The aerial group is CD vertically polarised. Erdiston is now on the air. Also on the air in South Wales near Risca, Wattsville. This covers about 900 people in Wattsville itself and along the valley to the west including Newtown and some southerly parts of Cross Keys. Also, extra coverage has been added to the north, just east of Cum Khan. It's in that extra small area that we urge viewers to use the new relay as soon as possible, since reception of other stations could be marred by inter-channel interference now that the new relay is on. HTV Wales and TVAM are on channel 60, with S4C on 53. Group CD aerials are needed, vertically polarised. Wattsville is now on the air. In East Sussex, a relay for Settlescombe is hoped to be on the air later in the week. Around 370 people will benefit in and around Settlescombe. Viewers in the service area receiving signals from Hastings are advised to change over to the new station. To the south, just over 100 people in Kent Street may benefit by using high-gain aerials. Programmes from TVS South East and TVAM will be on Channel 23 with Channel 4 on 30. Group A aerials are needed vertically polarised. Saddlescombe is due on the air later this week. In Wales, the relays at Machanapa and Trevechan have been delayed a little because of problems with the incoming signal feeds. We hope to have more information next week. Channel 4 next, and two more stations now on the air, both in Lancashire. Haslingdon on Channel 29 extends coverage to a population of about 22,000. Whitworth on Channel 32 covers 5,500 people. Due towards the end of this week, also in Lancashire, Wally on Channel 53 covering 4,000 people. And in North London, Chingford on Channel 48 with a population coverage of 3,500. Due later in the month, Ladder Hill, Channel 29, Dalton, Channel 53, and Rose Harty on Channel 47. That's all for this week. If you have any reception queries, do contact us. Our telephone number is Winchester, that's STD code 0962 822444. Join us again next Tuesday, either at 9.15 or 12.15. From Murray Nicholson and from me, John Lovell, goodbye from Crawley Court. Thank you.